Go watch that. Love on a leash. And Mr. Metalface with the 80. Jesus, man, thank you. Boom! I've been really enjoying my time Boom. with jiu-jitsu wrestling, but I've been really Boom. struggling Boom. to find the time Boom. to do jiu-jitsu and wrestling since I'm studying filmmaking. How do yeah, you find the time? Yeah, that shit sucks. You gotta go, you have to shower, you have to wash your gi, you have to do, it's like an hour of homework for every hour of instruction. And then the hour of instruction is broken up by, as I said before, hey, you see that fight last night? Corey Sanderson versus Diego Holmes. It was crazy, bro, they were tussling, but he got him with an elbow. All that shit. Yeah. If you run a jiu-jitsu or MMA gym, cut that shit. Please. Hey, uh, I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn how to do this. Yeah, did you see the fight B8 between Matt and Matt and uh, Jason, uh, sh uh, Jason Statham? Yeah, it was crazy. He got him right on the button with a crazy elbow. You just trying to like, pack your back up. up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> trying to leave, man. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a wife and kids at home. I, ha I have responsibilities. Can I, can I go or do I have to talk to you about your jock strap for another hour? Yeah, you just gotta get a little protein, hit some weights, and then uh, you'll be ju you'll be just in there like uh, uh, Rodrigo Hernandez. He's got some sick he's got some sick hand play. Tucker Allen says my message was for a young Boom. expecting couple. How do I Boom. keep my child based Boom. and red filled? Boom. Boom. How do you make a kid based and red filled? And then every boxing gym, every boxing gym. Not, 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 1963. Yeah, there was a fight between Rodney, Rodney Cole, and uh, who was it? Oh, it was, uh, it was, uh, Martin, uh, oh, Martin, uh, uh Martin, uh, what was his name now? But he, he, he came out here, he hit him with a, a left hook, a left hook, and then another, another cut, a left hook, and then he got him with a shoe shine, like this, shoe shine, and, uh, yeah, it knocked, knocked him out in front of 5,000 people. It was incredible. 1963. I was there. Can I learn, how, sir? Can I learn how to box, please? Nah, nah. You ain't, you ain't got no heart like them, like they all used, all used to have. 1981. Oh, Pete, Pete, uh, Pete Brown came, got in the ring, and he had on, if I remember correctly, now, he had on red gloves. He came out and he, he threw an uppercut the whole world heard that uppercut. I'm sure you hear that sir, a lot. Sir, it's been 25 it's... minutes. I've been... No, they don't, they don't do that at Big Six, but... Sir, I've, I've seen that firsthand. Sir, I've been here for 25 minutes. Uh, 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 you want me to hit the heavy bag or... Uh... Now, 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 look here, boy. You ain't... They don't make them like that no more. Now, look. 1955. But we're, oh, oh, post World War II, the boys had just come home. Now, they had old John Brown. He was black as day, but they wouldn't let him box at the, at the Army and Navy base. So they brought him around Detroit. And they said they called him old Brawling John because he would just start, he would get to punching before he get to talking. You're, you hit this with sir, a swarm of bugs around your head is really Sir, funny. how much are the uh, lessons here? <laughs> <clears throat> My hour's almost done. These, these motherfucking gyms, man. Combat sports, they love to talk. <sighs> yeah. Tucker, uh, I've been in a lot of street fights, Jet. Over 100? Yeah. Tucker Allen.